hey what's going on guys today i'm going to show you how to backup your wordpress website so first of all let's see what is a backup a backup is saving a copy of your website at a particular date for example you take a backup of your website at this date and after some days an error occurred on your website then you can easily restore your website from that backup so it's always a good decision to take a backup of your website and there are many cases when your website may break down. Like the most common cause is when you want to update your themes and plugins that may break down your website or your site may be hacked by hackers which is a very unfortunate reason or your website may be deleted because you forgot to renew your web hosting or forgot to update your credit card information and they just deleted your website. Or by mistake you do something wrong like maybe you deleted your page or deleted your database or things can just be happens that's why I always take a backup for all of my websites so in this tutorial I'll show you how you can take your websites backup how you can easily restore that how you can schedule the automatic regular backup and how you can also restore your website even if you fall into a critical error like this so before we start, don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel to get regular WordPress related tips and tricks. Alright, so here first of all we need to install a backup plugin on our WordPress. So let's go to the dashboard of our website. And from here under plugins, go to add new. And here search for updraft plus and let's install this one and then activate this so after installing this plugin you can go to the backup settings by clicking here or you can also go from under the settings and from these updra plus backups okay here we can see this big blue button so to create a backup let's click on this and also click on the backup now button here it will take a few moments to take your full website backup so let's wait for this okay our backup has successfully taken so right now if we scroll down we can see this is our backup we have just taken right now and here after some days if something goes wrong with our website we can easily restore our website from this backup by clicking on this restore button so right now let's do something wrong with our website i want to delete my home page okay let's go to pages and here i want to delete my home page so let's move it to trash and if we go to our home page and refresh this we can see our home page has no more here so to fix this we will restore our website from the backup we have just taken so let's again go to the backup settings and here click on this restore button and from here I want to check all of these themes, plugins and all other things and click on next and again click on restore and our website has start restoring all of its things okay our restore has successfully completed so let's click on this button and right now if we again go to our home page and refresh this we can see we have successfully get back our website and our deleted home page from that backup. So right now let's see how we can take automatic backup for our website. So right now if we go to the settings tab, from here we can take automatic backup of our website. So it's very natural to forget to take regular backup. Let's think you frequently change something on your website, then something goes wrong. And if you take a backup a long time ago and restore that backup, then you will lose all of your recent changes. So it's always a good practice to take backups on a regular basis. So here we want to take a backup on weekly basis. Here I choose weekly and also for my database, I want to choose weekly. And from here, let's make it to 4 and also it 4. So that means our website will automatically take one backup every week and that backup will retain for 4 weeks. So here you always have 4 backups for your last 4 weeks. Ok? And after that you can store your backup on a remote storage like Dropbox or Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. But I would prefer to use Google Drive. So let's choose Google Drive and go under here. 
and click on save changes ok after saving this pop up will come here it will says us to connect our plugin with our google drive account so let's click on this link and choose your google account then you need to sign up by entering your password and click on allow and then click on this complete setup button ok after setup in your automatic backup from here you can see when your next backup will start ok alright so after some days your automatic backup will look like this and as this backup are also uploaded to your remote storage the google drive so you can also see an google drive icon for each of your backups so right now let's see how we can recover our website when we face a critical error like this and in this case if you want to go back to your dashboard and restore your website you cannot do that so if we try to go to our dashboard you can see we can't even access our dashboard so how can we fix that so in this case we need to go to our web hosting settings and from there first of all we need to delete our website and then reinstall wordpress as I am using Bluehost, so I am going to Bluehost.com and here if you are using another hosting company, this process will be a little bit different for you but I personally use Bluehost for all of my websites and here I never get a downtime for at least 7 or 8 years and whenever I face any problem, their support team is very helpful, they instantly reply to me to solve any of my problems. And if you want to know more about how to create a full website and how to host that on Bluehost, I have a full length tutorial on that. You can check that from my description. Okay. But right now I want to log in with my Bluehost. And let's click on login. And from here go to my sites. And from here choose your site you are working on. Right now I have only one site here. So I click on this manage site. And then go to the settings option. And if we scroll down here, we can see there is an option for deleting our site. So let's click on this delete button and here click on delete. Okay, right now we have deleted our website and here let's add a new site. Here we will give our website title and our site tagline. So let's give this. And then click on next. And here we want to install our WordPress inside this domain and we don't want to give any directory here so let's keep it blank and let's also uncheck all of these we don't need these plugins and click on next okay it will also takes a few minutes so let's wait for this and then to go to your WordPress dashboard click on login to WordPress so let's again go to add new plugin and we will install our updraft plus plugin again okay let's install this again and activate this okay you probably noticed this word domain here this is a temporary domain from bluehost so when you delete your website they will give you a temporary domain and after a few moments you will get back your original domain so don't worry about that so let's continue with our backup settings but you can see here we don't find any backups from where we can restore our website if you remember we have previously restored our backup also on a remote storage so right now i want to download this backup from my google drive and bring it to here so to do this again go to this settings option and from here choose the google drive and again click on save here we again need to connect our plugin with our google drive okay i choose the same account i used before and then click on complete setup and then click on this disk and remote storage option and click ok from here you can see all the backups you have previously taken and uploaded to your google drive so here i want to restore the latest one so let's restore this and check all of this from here and click on next again and then click on restore So right now let's go to our home page again and we refresh this. You can see our website is now recovered from that critical error. 
So here it said before, the most common cause of breaking your website is when you want to update your themes and plugins. So for this, Upgrade Plus Premium has an awesome feature which is automatically take backup of your website before updating your themes and plugins. So in case you forgot to take a backup, it will automatically take care of that for you. Here I also give the premium versions link in my description. But if you don't want to get these advanced features, that's completely okay. Most of the things you can do with only the free versions. Okay? So I have shown you how you can backup and restore your WordPress website in different situations. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you do, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel right now. And as always, thanks for watching, I'll see you on my next.